Hi guys, this is Joseph from Joe Concepts and this is the second video in the series, in the UV Unwrap series. So, so in the previous tutorial, we looked at um, overview of UV Unwrap, what it means and the basic things you need to know about UV Unwrapping and the two method of adding um, a material tag to an object, if you remember. So if you have not seen the other tutorial, I'm going to put a link at the top corner so you can just check that before you come back to this. All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to look at a different way of unwrapping your object. All right, so now this different way of unwrapping the object, we're going to be looking at our texture sub object and also coming over to our projection type. So we are going to look at all these different sections here under our UV mapping. But then we still want to talk about automating this whole thing before we go to manual unwrapping this. So another way you can automate your unwrap is using the projection and also in conjunction with your polygon uh, with your texture sub object. So basically you have, if you look at the top here, you have your normal uh, sub object mode for your model. You have your point mode, so which allows you to pick a point and alter that. Then you also have your edge mode, which allows you to move the edge, and also for your polygon mode, which allows you to select a face. Notice as I select this face, that is selected here. And like I said, if you are not able to see your selection, all you need to do is now that is if you have a UV tag on the object, but you are unable to see that. Just make sure you go to your UV mesh and click on show mesh, and it's going to show you the selection. Notice the reason why we're having this is because whatever I select, I'm still going to have it selected because if you remember in the previous tutorial, the software is cutting this plane and placing all the different sides on one another. So that is why even if I select this, this will be selected. If I select this, this, any other part that I select will be selected. If I deselect, nothing is selected. All right. So. That is why we have that. So for us to unwrap this object, um, what I will need to do is we will need to make sure everything is selected. So we'll press Control A to select everything. Make sure all of our polygons are selected. Then notice if nothing is selected, if you are in your object mode or your model mode, these things are not out for you to work on. So what you want to do is you want to go to your, any of the mode, either your model polygon mode or your material polygon mode. So you just select everything. Once you have everything selected, so what I need to do is we have different projection types. So let's look at the first type. We have spherical. So if I click on spherical, that is what this type is going to give us. It's going to give us a spherical projection. So it's more like cutting this in a spherical way. Now, but the downside to this is that this is skewing, this is going to skew your object. So what do I mean? If I create a material, just create a material here and double click on this material, go to the color section and go to my surface and add a checkerboard. Now this checkerboard, I'm going to make it 20 by 20. So I'm going to have a lot of things here. So if I drag this over to this object, can you see what is happening? So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your check your squares are equal all through. This is fine here for this edge. But as you go over to this section, sorry about that. As you go over to this section, you notice that this is not giving us this projection type well. So and the reason we're having this is because of the projection type that Cinema 4D is giving us, it's giving us very castle is trying to is kind of um stretching some parts so at this top stretching the top that's why we're having that so if you change this to cylindrical you have a different projection type you can see that the cylindrical shape also is not really good what you want to reach out to is you having a square shape all through so this is stretched you can also see the representation here so this is more like the representation we have here, and that is why this is not cool. So you also have frontal. So what frontal does is that it looks at your view. 
So if this is your view right now, it's going to take a snapshot of your view at that point and paste it on the object. So this is my front eye. If I click here, notice what we have. That is what we're having. And this is not cool because if we start orbiting, you notice that this thing is stretched. While we were at this point, we thought you would think this is fine. But if you start orbiting, you notice that it's actually stretched. So frontal is used for a plane object when you are you want to work on it you want to just stand in front and paste the object in your view then you have a flat flat will cut through everything so what flat does here you can see it cuts through only this section and every other part is stretched so in this case this doesn't work for us because we want to get this cubic grid all through so if you go to the next one you have cube so if i click on cube see what cube is doing for us so fine this is fine if you look at this this is a very good thing but the issue with this cubic one is that it is just where we had before when we started adding material it's still creating these parts and placing them on top of one another and if i paint anything here now it affects every other thing and that is not what i want so if i go to the next one cubic two now cubic two do you really see something here something is um there is a similar thing that i showed you in the previous tutorial and that is here you notice when i was explaining this i showed you how to cut this in the previous tutorial so if you don't get that you can also still watch and you will see how this is so what cinema 4d is doing is that it's giving us a similar thing here so it's cutting every other part loose and you have different face and if we look at this, this is fine. And it has placed all these objects in this section. So what you want to do is that anytime you are creating this, you don't want to go out of this texture space. So this is more like your texture space. You don't you want to optimize this. You don't want to go beyond this. So you want to constrain yourself inside this. So that is what Cinema 4D has done for us. So you can also all right you can if i select this object you can also go to box method and that will give you a different so you have shrink shrink will also shrink so box is more like your cubic too so this is another automatic way of um unwrapping your object now the reason why this is fine is because i know that cube will give me one of this shape so I can just use this automatic way of unwrapping this. But by the time you start having a complex object, then you would not want to use this unwrapping. Then you have to use a manual method of unwrapping your object. So I'm going to stop this tutorial here. And in the next tutorial, we're going to see how we can manually unwrap our objects. So do have a wonderful day and God bless you. Bye.